Anyway, uh, yeah, you're, you're not a great audience, let's be honest. And uh, am I too good for this place? Well, I mean, you know, I don't know. Smacking the bar now. Excuse me? Nearly as bad as the Apollos last year. Oh, oh, you saw me in the opera house? Yeah. Thank you. Are you, tr are you trying to hurt me? <laughs> are you just trying... Well, that's kind of scraping the barrel. Why, because you heard that joke before? Well, I mean, yeah, I know, because it's a really good joke and I can't let it go. I mean, you know what I mean? You come all the way up from Cork to fucking try and assassinate my potential to do well. <laughs> you big fat bastard. Look at you sitting there. <laughs> But yes, uh, that young man from Cork wants everyone to know that he heard the joke I just did down in Cork. And I played for the first time, you son of a bitch, in uh, the Cork Opera House. There was 800 people there, was there? Yeah. Uh, two or no, there was 800. <laughs> By the way, welcome, welcome to Ireland. If you, no, actually, this is great. This is fucking great. This, this is great. Any, any forward movement sensed by any fellow Irish man. It was 800. I know the venue capacity. There's no point shaking your head because I fucking played the gig, rented the gig, and I could show you the breakdown of the figures. There was eight, there's no point shaking your head. But you're not, you're not, so I said 800. There was fucking 200 there, like. Americans, hey, you had 800. Well done. Woo! I hope you shine. This guy, you fucking langer. Do you know what I mean? I mean, fuck me. I'm 50. Give me some fucking chance at succeeding, you guy. Unbelievable. But that's it. Uh, you know, uh, there is that famous expression, anytime a friend of ours has a success, a part of us dies. So he's sitting there listening to me up, big up myself, and it's making him physically fucking ill. He's, he's sitting there going... <laughs> Jesus Christ. But it, I, you know, I also was young and I was jealous and then I achieved something like I made a TV show that got a lot of critical success and all that je jealousy and resentment <laughs> faded because I achieved uh, my dreams Woo! so eventually Woo! I love your show Dave fuck you <laughs> I prefer him <laughs> I trust him I know that because he reminds me of my father <laughs> Um, have you got any requests from the show I did in Cork? Anything that you... <laughs> Maybe... What's that? Grow on the lawn, Irish men are so afraid of being gay that they limit their words to just little short, little kind of... <laughs> like any, any long... You see the American? Yes! It's like a little submachine going just... <laughs> In Dublin, it's the same thing. He's like, you know, I'm in. I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. There was a plea for uh, flyweight DVDs at the end of the night. There was a plea for buying my... No, oh, oh you, t you think I sold my DVDs at the end? Oh, well. <laughs> Again, Americans. Him being disgusted by me wanting to make a living. <laughs> that's what's going on there. I mean, that's it. That's the very apex of our... Look at your man with his aspirations trying to make a fucking living, you disgusting bastard. Why don't you live in the fucking gutter and get supported by the state like everyone else? You horrible bastard. I mean, it's crazy, man. And then he'd say, then he'd laugh and say, I was only having a fucking laugh. <laughs> Wasn't funny to begin with. No, you weren't. You passive aggressive little cork man. Can I just say I love cork and I trust him? Because I'm the exact same as him. I'm full of resentments and jealousies. I'm riddled.